Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another interesting SQL problem. This is a lead code hard problem. So we will see step by step solution today how to do it. Also if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to the channel for a lot of data analytics related content and like the videos. Okay so let's go through the question. The question is write is equal to report the students being quiet in all exams. So we have this table student table and the exam table. So one student can give multiple exams and the score of those students in that exam. So for example student ID 1, exam ID 10, score 70. So we have to find all the quiet student. And how the quiet student is defined? A quiet student is the one who took at least one exam and didn't score neither the high score nor the low score in any of the exam. right? And they are also saying don't return the student who has never taken any exam. Okay. So let's see how, how we can decode this question. So if you look at the student ID 1. Okay. The student ID 1 in exam 10 has a score 70. Right. Now in exam 10, there are 3 students who, has, who have given the exam. Right. And the lowest score is 70 and highest is 90. Which means student ID 1 has got lowest score in this exam so he is not qualified right we, we should not get a student id 1 in our output let's look at student id 2 so student id 2 is this one so this guy has got 80 now in exam id 10 which is fine because it is neither lowest nor, nor highest right now look at which other exam this guy has given this guy has given this exam also mr id 2 exam id 40 here also he scored in middle, neither lowest score 60 nor highest. So this guy is fine. He has given two exams. In both of the exams, he has not scored uh, neither lowest nor highest, right? If we look at the three, three, here this guy has highest marks. Again, this is not fine, right? Now look at four. For four, if you see two exams, right? In both the exams here, it is highest and here it is again higher so this is also not fine now look at five five has not given any exam so only person who is eligible for our answer is student id 2 okay so let's focus on exams table now i hope this is clear question is clear okay mm, one second okay okay so this is my exam table. So what I have to do first, I have to identify the lowest and highest marks in each exam, right? So what I'll do, I will say select exam underscore ID comma minimum of score S min score, right? Maximum of score S max score. From exam table, right? Group by exam ID. So this way I got now that for each exam what is the highest score and what is the lowest score. Right? So for each exam I got it. Now let me make this as a CT. With all scores as okay now i will join it back with the exams table on exam id so that for each student i will get it that in each exam is it lowest or highest right so i will say select from exams right Inner join. I can do inner join here because all the exam ID will be present in all its scores also, right? I'm not filtering here. I'm getting all the exam ID. On exams dot exam ID equal to all score dot exam ID, right? What else I need? I need from exams everything I need right dot star comma i will take minimum score and maximum score from the all scores table that's all i need for now and uh, let me run this now 
okay so i got everything right so this is all exam and also in each exam i got minimum score and maximum score so for exam id 10 minimum maximum 70 90 70 90 70 90 now i can just compare if any of this score is equal to minimum score or maximum score it means that that though is not qualified that a student is not qualified right so let me do it quickly so i'll create one more column here is when score equal to minimum score or score equal to maximum score and one else zero and i will cal uh, make it a z flag because this is a z flag for our query right those students should not be considered if they have got minimum score or maximum score in particular exam, right? So if I run this again, if you see, we have got red flag and all the red flags. So only they are three, zero, right? So one for student ID two, this is red flag zero. For student ID two, again, here it is zero. Now for student ID three, if you see one is zero, Okay, another is one, right? So in one, he has got low, low, uh, middle marks and in one, he has got highest or lowest marks, right? So this also doesn't qualify. So what we have to do, we have to identify all the students who have all the zero as red flag, right? For two, even if we see one red flag, that is gone, right? So for that, what I can do, I can just find maximum of red flag, right? If I find maximum red flag and if it is zero, it means all the flags are zero for that student, right? For each student, I will find maximum of red flag. So what I'll do, I'll do here group by student ID, right? Student ID and I just need a student ID now from here so i'll just remove everything and keep a student id and also i don't need all this i just need max of this right so if the max of this is zero which means those are the students so if i run this now you see only for student id 2 i got red flag zero for everyone else i have got one 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 because they have got at least in one subject highest or lowest marks so now I have to just filter where that will equal to zero. I can create a CT again and put a where condition, but what else I can do? I can just put having condition also here, having. So I don't have to write one more query. The maximum should be zero, right? That's it. So if I run this now, I don't need even this in the output. I just need a student ID, two will come in the output, right? If you need name also, you can now join it with the student's table here itself and get the student name. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Let me know if you have any other solution. I will put that in description box, the insert and create statements. I have everything ready. And let me know if you have any doubt or any other solution. I would love to see any simpler solution. Thanks for watching it. Have a good day. Bye.